hi everyone so we have created the series object now let's see about how we can extract some particular value from the series based on the different index so i have taken into consideration the same series object what we have seen in the last video like a temperature and the months of individual temperature okay so let me just display the same series so we have a months available as an indexing and values available as a temperature now let's say we are going to use this bracket notation to extract the individual values or individual temperature you can say so in a by learning about the list collection in a python we have already seen how to use this bracket notation to extract some specific value so you can treat this particular values as like a list only and here also indexing is starting from zero so there is a one indexing specifically like a january february march april and there is another integer based indexing also it will work here so here indexing is starting from zero so let's say if you want to grab the very first value you can just simply supply in a bracket like s1 bracket 0 so it has written 30 uh, let's say you want to grab let's say the june month temperature so june will be pointed by this is 0 first second third fourth and a fifth so i can just put like a fifth so it will be a 30 okay let's say you want to uh, grab some range of values so you can use like a start indexing position colon and indexing position so let's say you want to grab from march to september so march has been pointed by the number two because it's a zero one and two so the first position will give like a two start position and then colon and then we have to provide the end position so end position should be september so september will be pointed by this 8 i guess so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i have to provide it here here 8 now if you just put this 8 this september will be excluded so 29 will be excluded because upper bound is mostly excluded so in that case you have to provide the 9 so now you can see it has returned us from march to september let's say you want to grab let me just display this s1 again so you want to grab some specific months only rather than range of all months so let's say you want to grab april july and a september so you can just simply supply like uh, inside the bracket notation so again another list because you want to grab the values from individual months or individual records so uh, let's say april so april will be pointed by let's say three okay uh, you want to grab june also so june will be pointed by five and let's say october okay october will be pointed by i think nine okay and let's see what it will return so april june and october so this is we have seen the positive integer based indexing you can go with the negative indexing also so now zero is pointing to the first record same way from the other way side minus one is pointing to this december the last record minus two will be pointing to the second last record minus three will be pointing to third last record okay so let's grab the very last record so you can just supply like a s1 minus one so it will be a 30 okay so let's say you want to grab the second last record so it will be a s1 minus 2 so we have got here 34 okay here also you can supply like a range of values so let's say from minus 5 to you want to get minus 2 so you can just think about that what are the values it will return so this is pointing by minus 1 then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so from minus 5 that means it should start at august and minus 2 will be a november but minus 2 will be excluded so let's see what it will return so from august september october it should return okay so that is what we are expecting okay so this is about the integer base indexing and from the numeric indexing how we can retrieve individual values now let me display this s1 again we have a this label indexing are also available so let's say you want to grab 
specifically August month temperature. So rather than passing this individually, this 0, 1, 2 kind of integer number, we can uh, even pass this June, July, August kind of index value also. So let's grab, let's say September or let's say August, August month temperature we want. So we can just simply pass this August in this way and we have a 31. Yeah, so that is correct. Uh, let's say you want to grab the list of months. So we can pass another list within this bracket notation. And let's say you want, let's say for me, and let's say November, and let's say December. So we got this for me, November, and December for all three months. So this way we have seen on a number of ways you can uh, supply this integer based indexing and this label indexing in a bracket notation to extract some specific value from the series object. Okay, so that is all about how to extract the values from the series object and we'll see some more functionality related to series object in the next video.